For part four of our healthy habits series, we are learning about how to get your exercise. If you like sports and exercise, this book is perfect for you. Let's go. Tag, you're it. Tag is a game, but it is also exercise. Exercise takes many forms. Good hygiene keeps our body healthy. Eating well does the same. So does exercise. Exercise builds strong muscles and bones. It also makes our body lean. Exercise also prevents health problems. How do you like to exercise? He likes Taekwondo. What about you? Let me know down below. Did you know that we sleep better when we exercise and we're in a better mood too? There are three types of exercises. The first type is to make your heart and lungs work harder. Running and biking do this. Swimming does as well. Another type of exercise tones and strengthens muscles. Climbing is one way to tone muscles. Another way is doing handstands. What do you like to do to build your muscles? Let me know down below. And then there's the third type of exercise that makes you more flexible. The goal is to stretch and lengthen joints and muscles. Being flexible helps protect your body. Try stretching like her or doing a cartwheel. These are ways to improve your flexibility. Remember, a gym isn't the only place to exercise. A soccer field is a great spot. So is your backyard. Just focus on being active. Even a snowball fight is exercise. Try to be active for at least one hour a day. Find simple ways to exercise. Use stairs instead of elevators. Also, limit screen time. I hope you know by now that exercise keeps our body healthy. It is also a chance to have fun. What are some of your healthy habits? Let me know down below. Now let's go through some of the new words we learned in today's book. The first word is flexible which is to be able to bend or move easily. Hygiene means keeping yourself clean or other actions that support good health. Joints are points at which two parts of a skeleton fit together, like elbow joint and shoulder joints. Lean means to have little or no fat. Prevent means to stop something from happening. And finally, to tone means to make something firmer. Now it's your turn. What do you think about exercise? Let me know down below. And also share with me some of your favorite exercises and some things you learned in today's book. Take some time to think about it. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the next lesson for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.